live, very extreme, toxic climate change with the Thames weather forecast. UK. Our reporter Vincent McAvinney can explain. TV naturalist Steve Batchel's used to facing danger in the wild, but what he found here in his own backyard after a nearby works discharged sewage into the River Thames left him horrified. I'm not surprised. A sample done when I was taking. That's why well, I don't swim in it uh, or go in it. Actually, this year. It's this winter. Could have killed you. The levels of E. coli, norovirus, and terovirus. Times down there. Was so high that sometimes the lab technicians wouldn't even open the uh, the samples that were sent to them. Day to day is the and, 18th you know, of April, Thursday morning, 20 before. For the river, something that could kill anything living in or near to the river. As an honorary lecturer at Bangor University, he got the team there to put the Thames under the microscope. I was surprised at just how high um, some of the readings were from Steve's samples. Um, but unfortunately, um, it, is, it is becoming all too common. For Steve, who's traversed the river with his Olympic medal winning wife, Helen Glover, and who now yeah. takes his children on the water, it was a shock. So right now, I wouldn't go in the river. And then there's a the thought that, you know, there are people walking their dogs along the banks, there are kids splashing around in the water, my own kids. Uh, and, you know, they could get seriously, seriously ill from this. Steve has now started a petition to get sewage levels in the Thames discussed in Parliament. He also accepted an invitation from Thames Water to tour their Little Marlow sewage treatment works, which is causing the problems in his area. But he found the company's mindset alarming. Is the river safe right now? You have to ask the environment agency that, I'm afraid. But you're, you're the company that put the sewage in there. Surely that has to be your responsibility at some stage. I'm not saying we're not partially responsible for that, but we're not responsible for letting the public know whether they can swim in the river or not. Thames Water, England's biggest supplier, have said taking action to improve the health of rivers is a key focus for us, and we are leading the way with our transparent approach to data. Last month, the Environment Agency revealed raw sewage spills doubled last year in England to 3.6 million hours of spills. Not surprised. 1.75 million hours in 2022. A heavy rag, what do you expect? Transparency and the about the problem may be welcome, but people across the country want these privatised companies to pause paying shareholder dividends to pay for action. Vincent McAvinney, BBC News. There you go, guys. Time That's now, 14 out. minutes past seven, and inquire in Australia. I scry to my shirt and sign Germans of the force. Be with your eyes, kind of spot the need to me. Well, I... These insects, which are native to South America and are thought to have entered Australia in shipping containers, can kill people and livestock. Crikey. Yes, you can see them there. They mm. swarm. They lock their jaws onto their victim's skin before injecting venom through a spike on their stomach. Well, No one wants an invasion of fire ants near them. Hey, mate, do you ever get anything? I've just scratched myself because they make you itch watching them. Just trying to imagine the one you do get. It's that? sort of compelling at the same time, though, isn't it? They're very smart creatures. And so. But we don't want them near us, do we, Sarah? <laughs> we certainly don't, no. Hopefully, the, the Australian climate, um, they, they prefer that than the British one. Well, there's, there's nothing like that here, okay. is there, today? Certainly not, no. no the it's stuff. bloody cold. They scribed my show on San Jose with my friend's parking gym, but every Friday, 3 to 5 p.m., I tear frightening in Surrey Hills Radio Station. Which is a good one to listen to. And this is my friend, you name it. Shane with Cindy Lou, every Friday at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. live on the Surrey Hills Radio Station every Friday with Cindy Lou through the years. Shane with the Radio Station show every Friday. And this is my friend, Joel and Lars, every, Friday, every Sunday at 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. live on the Wake Up Show, Lars, every Sunday. Please squash on Sunday. I'm going to go play such a place. I'm going to be having my 